So I couldn't do any more of my live streams leading up to the New Year's because ScrewTube gave my channel its first strike. Always remember your first, right? Well, this video is going to immortalize the strange goings on. Background info is, is that I uploaded a short containing a public altercation in which an older woman was screaming at what I assumed to be two young men. I say assume because at first the two young men are off screen. The woman goes on about how their mothers raised them or something. It's not necessarily important what she says. You never pay attention to psychotics. What is important is that the two young men are now revealed in the video when one in a drill-looking mask is ushering his friend out the door, trying to get him out of the situation. To which the older woman in the video, for some reason, gets angry and actually lays hands on the young man in the mask. He retaliates immediately by striking back and calling her a bitch before moving out the door with his friend. My version of the screen captured short was my usual laughter track. <laughs> I found this funny. What did she expect from cornered young men who have just been assaulted by entitlement with tits? Well, ScrewTube didn't and struck me, sending an email saying that a platform where I have seen a cartel beheading and a Compton drive-by shooting of a pregnant woman, I have broken their policies surrounding violent or graphic content. But whatever, let's just let that massive hypocrisy slide. Let's at least pretend to. But then something strange happened to my account. The first was my liked videos. All but one were deleted. Thankfully, it's just Uncle Frank's that was left alone. Then my history. Videos by the channels you all most likely watch, and I had recently watched, were all deleted and replaced with random shorts and motivation videos. Then, just today, I tried to get back into my account to do a test upload, but in order to do so, I was told that my password had to be changed. Weird, right? When I did and confirmed the email address, what followed my password reset email were more verification recommendations, and another recommendation to attend these policy training sessions. Make sense of that, I beg of you. And also, I just went back and finally found the channel where I got the short from. Yes, their video is still up. Yes, it has tens of thousands of comments. Yes, it has hundreds of thousands of likes. Yes, it's been up the entire time my channel was struck. I ask you this, what's the difference between my channel and theirs? I wonder what kind of philosophies and realities and goals do I push in comparison to that channel that feeds off of sensation and not lessons. What makes me so different? If you know, then you know. But I'm back, and I've got a chip on my shoulder from this. Class dismissed.